Okay, YouTube, this video right here is going to go over a new MAC pack that I just released today. I'm just going to go over what all I changed in the pack. Pretty much, I'm just going to go over everything in the pack part of pretty much. Um, this uniform that you see right here is going to be a police uniform. Um, just a regular police officers will have this uniform right here. Alright, let's go to the next one. Everything will change, like nothing will change on this uniform right here except the shirt, the top part of it. So once you go in your trainer, it's going to want to go to model spawning and then to the clothes menu. And then also you go to upper and then change the side and you have this one right here. Um, there may be an update on this and I may make this for our senior officers and I may put one stripe on the side right there. I'm not sure yet. Um, everything else is still the same on the uniform as before alright like I said this may be our senior officer's uniform right here the next uniform is going to be a corporal's uniform has uh, two stripes on the side everything else still the same alright um, the next uniform is going to be our sergeant's uniform right here has three stripes everything else still the same Except this one has a tie. It's more professional looking since it's a sergeant. Alright, then you also had the one in the jacket. Which is um pretty much just normal PD officers can, you know, have this one on as well. Alright, this one right here you probably won't use this one much, but um it's police raincoat. Um I guess more detectives so um pretty much use that. Alright, and then that's back to that one. Alright, we're gonna go over the everything is still the same in the sheriff's department. For now, so I'm just gonna go over there just to you know show it off anyways. Alright, um it's gonna first come up to this raincoat guy, which I say you probably won't use that as much. Let's see if I can get back to my clothes menu. Alright, um, normal sheriff members right here It's going to um, have this one right here. So, if you are a normal sheriff, deputy, or deputy sheriff, you're going to be in this uniform right here. Um, or you can have it in long sleeve, whichever prefers. Uh, this one has the jacket. There will be a change on this one in the next pack. Um, I will go back and redo all the uniforms for the sheriff department. Uh, just as how I did on the police department with the uh, ranks and all that. Um, as of right now, only our supervisors are having the jacket for the sheriff department. And that takes us back to there. Alright. Next thing I'm going to go over is um, our detectives. Which is under Francis. Alright, um... This is going to be the uniform for our Jaguar unit. Also, you can also use the regular PD unit as well. So, whichever prefer with the vest. The uh, Jaguar have a vest. Alright, um, let's see. We can go to the next one. Alright, um has the little detective thing. It's in a suit, tie, and also has the badge around the neck. And as you keep changing through, it's just pretty much civilian type clothes with the chain around the neck, so that's that's all it's gonna be in that one. Alright, we're gonna move on to um, our state troopers. Next I'm gonna go to our cadets first. Nothing has changed on the cadets. Cadets are still the same for right now. Still in the same uniform right here. So cadets, you're still going to be in that. Alright, we're going to move on to our state troopers. 
All right, this is uh, Alabama State Troopers um, skin right here. So, pretty much that's what the uh, uniform is going to look like for that. Um, the, the hat for this one is really cool as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the hat while we edit. And as you can see, we have the Alabama logo at the top of the hat up there. So, that's that's looks pretty good. All right, that's... um. That covers Alabama State Troopers. See, I, I don't think I'm, let's see, I'm missing. Uh, trying to make sure I don't forget anything. Let's see how SWAT is still going to be the same. Haven't made no changes to the SWAT. And Heli Pilot. It's going to be like that for our sheriff's department. Um, no other changes have been done to that one. I do believe that will conclude all of our uniforms. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you all some of the cars that I've changed. It's been a while since I last done this, like a video of this. So ever since then, we have a lot of changes. So pretty much going to go over all the new cars that we have in our pack right now. See if I can get back to this something right here. We're gonna start with police one. Alright, let's go back to um car spine. Okay. The first car we're gonna go to it's gonna be police one. Alright, on this car right here, you're gonna have multiple libraries, so um the first one is going to be our state troopers right here. Um, once you have this car right here, you can um, access more than one car. You go to set car library right here. You can also change the skin to... Alright, our first one, the PD, is going to be our cadet car. Um, it's going to have 000. zero, zero as the numbers on there. Um, the update that I've done with this one is the stripes are more even now. Um, and just the color is more, you know, deaf. Also, I've fixed the logo on the side. Um, I moved our ribbon from the top to the center of the trunk area. The lights, the light bar is different now. And like I say, it's gonna be the same light pattern or light, whatever, for like each one of the cars. So the next level we're gonna go to is probably gonna be the sheriff. No, actually, okay, law enforcement. Okay, if you can see the difference, cadet, law enforcement. All right, those are the two only different changes on this car. Regular uh, PD units be in this car right here. All right, this is gonna be our share scan right here. Be a regular deputy sheriff, you start off in this car right here, and we're back to state troop. Alright, we're gonna go to Police 2 now. I'll show y'all the recent changes I made to Police 2. Alright, first of all, our Jaguar unit. We are hiring in this department. Um, actually, we're hiring in each one of our departments. So, like I said before, um, if you're looking to join, then go ahead, come on. 
we are accepting applications. Um, but the changes I made on this car here. It's gonna be pretty much our logo, like I said before. Our logo has is more clear. Um the back's still the same. And this is the light pattern right here. A lot of people kind of like the car and a lot of people don't like the car. But to me, it's one of my favorites, so I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to move on to changing the library on it. Alright, we also have a supervisor uh, mourn for this one. I may go back and make some changes to it. As you can see on the logo right here, this is one of our old logos. I did not fix that one, but I do have a skin, but I'm debating if I want to go back and put that one on here or not. Um, everything else on this one is going to still be the same. Alright, I took away the logo for the sheriff. So now this is going to be all black. Everything else is still the same. And this is going to be a detective vehicle right here. Alright, the all white one is going to be a detective vehicle for the police department. Alright, um, that's going to be that one. And that's all the skins so that's going to be on this one. Mostly corporals will be in this car right here, or sergeants. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move to the FBI, which is going to be our, should be the Dodge Charger, yeah. Alright, um, we did a lot of changes on this car right here. Uh, we got a round bar now. Um, the sound, um, I'm not sure, it's, it's optional if you want to add this in, but um, it sounds awesome. <laughs> Alright, um, that's going to be our sheriff's game on this car here. And I will make a test around to show you the, the sound in this car. Alright, we have an all white one. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this skin right here yet, so just bad with me. Leave it all white for now. Our state troopers are in a Dodge Charger as well, so we have a state troopers Dodge Charger. And back to Sheriff. Everything else is still going to be the same. And just in case I didn't. So I'm gonna stay true for and go back. Uh, that's gonna be the back of it. Charger. I'm gonna move on to our noose vehicle now and show y'all one of my favorite, another one of my favorites. Um, it's gonna be that Chevy Impala 
All right. On this vehicle right here, we have a state trooper skin. Any of our state troopers can drive this car right here. All right. Gonna move on to show you the rest of the skins on the car. Um, everybody in the clan has this car except for the sheriff. Um, our sheriff department do not have um, impalas that I know of, so I have not added that in the pack. If our, if everything in Mobile, Alabama is not how it is, it's not, it's not, it's not gonna be included in the game or in the clan pack. So I'm gonna show y'all the rest of the skins. I went back and redid the police scan for this vehicle right here, and um, it turned out pretty good, so I decided to go ahead and release it to y'all. Alright, um, everything's pretty much even now. Um, before, it, it was not right on the side right there. So now that's going to be correct. Um, this, the color is going to be a little bit better. It's more even up here now. And that's that's it. <laughs> it's gonna be the um, the new one, the new 2010 Impala. And we finally got a round ball on it right there. It's just everything that I wanted in the Impala, so it's great. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be our lights. And pretty much like when it's nighttime on here, the lights are uh, much more brighter. It has that. Um, I think Nicky B made this car right here, so special shout out to him for making this car. And I do not know who I made every car in my pack, so if I didn't include the names, I'm sorry. But I did not make none of the cars, <laughs> just some of the skins. Alright, that's going to be that one. Let's go ahead and move on to some of our SUVs, I guess. Um no changes have been made to our ambulance um, I'm pretty sure everybody knows our ambulance is pretty annoying in game uh, this is going to be our ambulance right here just like the real one in Mobile, Alabama uh, that's going to be our yeah <laughs> no changes to that Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move on to some of the SUVs. Um, the first one is going to be probably the Paul Patrick. Alright, this car here, um, well, SUV right here is going to be pretty much supervisors, detectives. Um, Right here you have the all black one, which is pretty much, if it's all black, it's mostly has something to do with the sheriff department. Um, there is a, there was an all white one, but I took that one out. So now the police department also has this same vehicle too, but they have a down skin on it. State troopers have one as well, so let's go ahead and show you all them. Alright, this is going to be our state troopers one right here. Nothing too fancy, just you know. It's gonna be our state troopers one. Alright. 
uh, police department. I finally got around to doing the skin right here. Or uh, there may be another update containing the logo right here. Um, I want that to be more clear. Didn't do that. Um, it's a law enforcement one. So as you can see, um, probably make our senior, senior officers draw this if they want to. And that's going to be the back of it. And I also have a sheriff one. Go ahead and move on to some of the other ones. Like I said, good handling on every last one of our vehicles. Um, our assistant chief, Nam, he um, is in charge of our handling. He does a pretty good job at it, so all the cars job pretty good. Like stuff. Okay, I had to start this over. I'm gonna go start back with our pole map, which is gonna be our helicopter for the sheriff department. Um, it's gonna be a sheriff helicopter, pretty much. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all this one. No recent changes to this. Still gonna be the exact same. So far, that's going to be the only helicopter that we have for now. In stockade. It's going to be pretty much for our share of the only. Um, it's all black. You can change a lot. You can change the color on this. Um, I believe it's only all uh, black, from what I know. I don't really try this quite much. Um, let's see if I can change skins. All right, we have one that's for the sheriff right here. Just uh, you know, a step above the other one if you like this one. The light center is pretty cool. Alright, that's gonna be this one. Like I said, I'll start this video so I can get more room. Handling's pretty good in this car too, so. Could use a little bit more tweaking, but it's fine for now. Okay, this is the last one. Alright, this is the only one that we can't get the handling right in, it seems like. Um, this is going to be our prisoner transport van. I really like it. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, one of our older members made this skin for it. Um, 
Yep, that's pretty much it on that. So, show y'all the light pattern on it. It's pretty nice. But yeah, this is the only one that uh, we can't get the handling right on. It's like once you turn the coordinate, this thing, the whole thing just flips. <laughs> So any suggestions on the handling file is um, just please put in the description, or not the description, but just comment below, let me know, so we can get this little issue fixed. But um, that's going to be pretty much it. Alright, um... Yeah, I think that's gonna be it on our update there. From what I can remember, I just don't wanna miss out on nothing else before I get out this video. But um, I believe that's it though. So um, yeah. So like I said before, if you interested in joining the clan, then um, all you have to do is not hard. Um, if you do not have GTA IV, make sure you get it for PC. It is only for the computer, not Xbox 360, not PlayStation 3. Um, once you get that, you can get it online, you can get it on Steam, or you can go get it at Walmart. It's $20 on Steam, I believe it's a little bit cheaper. But um, once you get that, then you go to LCPDFR website, lcpdfr.com. LCPDFR, just to let some of y'all know. Um, once you get that, you're going to want to download LCPDFR. Um, then go to the link in the description to our clan website and um, TeamSpeak. What you want to do is just fill out an application on our website. And uh, one of our admin will get back with you as soon as possible. Um, once you do that, you're already a member of our clan. Um, none of these cards right here will be issued out to anybody outside of the clan. So don't ask me for no cards unless you're a member of our clan. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on that. So once you get that far set up, we'll help you set everything else up. So if you can just buy GTA IV for the PC and get it running, we will set up the LCPDFR and install all these cars and all the mods and everything else for you. If you don't know how. So that's going to conclude this video. Um, I look forward to getting more members, so if you interested in joining or anything like that, just feel free to comment. Um, the links are going to be in the description for the website and the TeamSpeak. So, um, y'all yeah, have a nice day.